All right. So, reworked the key poses to break them up and make them look less default. Skeleton dinosaur. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to work a bit more. Impact and contacts. All right. Let's watch this. Yeah, contact is a bit soft. Better though. Cool. It's neat. So my impressions, let's go dinosaur first. And this is mainly because I've been brainwashed by Jurassic Park, but there's something about uh, these guys being... Like, there's so much movement, I think I will keep them within like a realm like this, and they kind of compress in. So like a front view dinosaur, arms are just kind of here. And if I change fancy colors here, um, you know, maybe from here to here, and then maybe that much on the outside. But in terms of side view, you know, going this way or back, I would stick within maybe this range or 50% or of that. Um, it just feels like they feel like really feeble little hands, which they have. But it draws attention to this tiny little thing here that to me is just a bit distracting. The other thing is that I. On those steps, the two things. On the steps, I'm not quite, let's put it this way. When you go up here, it feels like everything is one ginormous unit. There is no separation between those parts, and especially through this drop. And it's added by the tail, which I don't think you haven't touched it a little bit, but as it starts here, it feels like this is one ginormous piece pivoting off of here with just this moving. Anything you can do to break those parts up. And what adds to that is that like, I know he has to get up for the for the roar. But to me, it's almost like you want to be either in this position or in something like this. So that on the step, you can have a greater overlap and drag where you know the body part goes down. The head drags a bit and then overlaps to, to do that boom, that heavy step that you can do, you know, through on that step, then you can start your, your roar. Because right now, I see steps that don't quite connect in here. There's some good uh, up and down, but I feel, it just feels very small and light. It's like a very small creature. But the only thing that, that is adding weight is the speed of those steps. But on those steps, I just don't feel the impact of uh, rotation in the, in the chest, uh, in the pelvis. And how that impacts the chest, how this smacks down on each step. Um, so maybe my question is like, how big you want him to be? Maybe that's, maybe I should um, ask that. And if I have already, I apologize, I can't remember. I thought it was, you know, fairly big. That's why we had that whole talk about <clears throat> the impact and how this works here. So that to me is the impression on this. It also feels all very one axis as it goes up just this way versus having you know a bit of a sideways rotation meaning that you know on this on the front view it feels like it's just going up body head legs and it could be a little bit of that like to the side and then rawr, and then get into the roar just to add the complexities and the biggest thing is just this drop how this just feels like one big thing Then on impact, so we were going dinosaur stronger. But what you can do is to sell that, what I would do is boom on this. So he's pushing off with this. Okay, I'll buy that. Boom. That kicks the, the, the dragon, which looks cool. And the thing that's missing to me is once you do you get into this boom impact that the head feels, it should feel more dislocated in terms of, it might do pow, and because of the, of this impact, there's maybe some side to side twisting, there's maybe a bit more of a drag, like as you push up, it's more something like this, like he's, he's pushing off using the legs and everything, and that is the center point of the push, but the rest is kind of going down, and maybe it goes down over time. There's just something again to break it up and, and give it potentially a, a more interesting um, line of action. 
because from here to here, all I see is this and this staying in the same line, if that makes sense. And it could have oh, on this and watch out there's some intersections through there, but there's something about yeah, I just have this part just feeling a bit stiff there. The the dragon is cool though. I think my only thing is that how straight this feels. Having some curvature in the fingers. And even like rolling in the thumb the talon there and then only bringing it out because of stepping. Where you might say, well, you haven't gotten to this yet, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, impact contacts between scaled up the dinosaur. I don't see anything about finger stuff. So just, you know, uh, watch out as you continue on that it doesn't feel so flat there. Also, uh, sorry here. As the dinosaur goes down, poof, same thing here. You want to break it up between all those sections and give it a looser feel so that when he goes up like that, even through this, you can have a bit more of a drag. And then once you get to here, that's fine. And then as you go down, a bit more of a drag in the head. I mean, not that much, but feeling that drag a bit more. But then especially on here, boom, feeling A, that the head comes down a bit because of impact. You can have a bit of a side to side jiggle impact on on his neck. The shoulder piece will come up here because he puts his arm down and it compresses. It pushes this side up. So A, scapula, shoulder, whatever you have control wise goes up. Also rotates the guy a bit to the side just for a little bit and have a bit of a side to side rotation to get a bit of a um, chest jiggle. I'm not going to comment the tail's a bit stiff, but I'll usually do tail at the very end. Same thing on the, I'm not sure how far we are with this, but um, some more break up on, on the wings. I mean, you know, there's some basic stuff in there, which is cool. Just, I'm not sure, it probably sounds super obvious. Yeah, just break it up, you know, loose it and up. There's a drag overlap. And the jump itself, there's something a bit light. He gets back here, goes down. Careful on stuff like this, where you compress too much your knee, yeah, knee intersections. Maybe it's on this, stretching those legs a bit more, almost overextending them. Give it that feel of, Argh! like I, I watch this and I all I s register is this type of thing, where it's always bent. And I know that is the anatomy, but there's something about you can try just for a visual, like a visual impact of this frame and maybe maybe even this frame, maybe just on one leg to almost overstretch to get that push for a straight. But then the other thing is on that push, that head stays put, stays put, stays put versus and then it could be a moment, you don't have time, but it could be a moment where the head goes back up and then goes back down, up, like I don't think you have time for that. But at least on that push, you could start a bit earlier with the head and lead with the head so that at this point the head is already up here to then be up here and then get into this position here so there's something where it doesn't feel like it's a whole piece that just comes off like even here the the trajectory is kind of like the angle of the creature is kind of the same so it comes back to breaking this up a bit and if you have shoulders back you can feel all that compression and that will probably even leave this hand lower because right now it's just in this position and then it comes out and it's always in the same position there until the hit. So to me it would give greater contrast to keep this down as well so that over here by now you're here so that over the course of the shot this arm travels forward hitting this guy. That's kind of it. Uh, and then you have the mini sequence, helicopter chase, blocking past everything. Still not sure about what, the way he lands on uh, with a shot 160. So actually, let me bring this in here. It's a bit smaller. Let me watch this. I see the hollow. Whoa, wait a minute. 
You know, mm -hmm. so wait, I'm not quite understanding what that is. As the email says, it's being chased. You're adding two more shots. The thing that's confusing to me is he does all this stuff here. And he's moving to the right. And now he's suddenly already going and moving right to left. It's almost like you want to almost reverse your camera move to go this way. So that at the end, we're looking at it from this point of view. You mean like from this angle? So that when he gets up, he has a right to left motion that cuts across the shot. And I'm not sure what he's going to do here because it's, you know, he's, he just got up. And now you're full on run mode. So just the hookup is a bit funky. The shot is super cool though. The thing that's a bit missing here is compression. I think you can have... I like that he goes up here. You might even go a bit higher, tiny bit here. But pop, 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 like on this, um, there's any way to go lower and then go into this. This is a great pose. It's just he's already up, 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 and there's no compression then extension in the body whoa fast a fast shot it's gonna need a couple more frames to get to that and especially through this that section even you break down at more time um so i don't mind the slide you're asking what you could do you know what would be cool is actually if you bring this whole set more this way so that the building corner is actually here, meaning that he lands and it kind of lands in this pattern and will basically land, slide, hit this corner, bounce off, step, step, go this way. It's more of an uncontrolled landing where he just boom, 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 and like shoulder-wise hits this, continues. That would be cool as a complexity of the shot, showing something you haven't we haven't seen yet because right now you have a land and kind of a jump run which is kind of this in terms of um you know showing off different skills you got to climb you got to run you got a big jump but this goes back almost into into a run i mean it's a bit of a slide which is not as interesting and i think having a momentum and then getting that momentum stopped by a wall and then reacting physically to that would be a cool showcase there then that's cool then you get into into that you know, POV, just make sure that, you know, the, either the head is still turning or here we're staying put. Because this to me seems almost like an implied POV. You're looking and now we have this. I feel like, well, I'm looking through the hog's eyes. So having the snap zoom is a bit weird. And that continuous rotation. What you could do is maybe start around here, only go this far, but... But you would have a uh, Hulk here. Rrr, that's my Hulk come from the back. <laughs> so we, it's an over the shoulder and then he would still be around here-ish. And then you can snap zoom in there. Um, yeah. Cool, it's super cool. This is awesome, by the way. Pew, 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 pew. It's cool. So yeah, my thoughts. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, any questions, concerns, bribes, let me know. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.